Let's review password topics. What do you need? About six minutes of time. You need your brain. For tools, you either need pen and paper or a mind mapping app. All right, let's get started interrupting the process of your brain forgetting things. As usual, let me walk you through the process. Your seed term this time is console password. So take about two minutes, make your list of terms in no particular order. If you can think of an idea and not the term, just write as short a description as you can get away with. You've got five seconds to hit pause and go do that. So take that two minutes now and do the work. Next up, we're gonna make the mind map from that list of terms. So look at that seed term, put it somewhere in the center of your map or your piece of paper, and just start looking at your list of terms and things that go together, group them together. Put a category on top of it as well, maybe a term that's not in your list already. Other terms that go together, group those together, things that don't really go with any of the other terms, put those off to the side somewhere. So go ahead and make your map. I'll give you five seconds to hit pause and go do that. Last step, if you'd like to, here's a list of terms that I came up with. So if you want to look at my list versus yours and add to it, feel free to. And if you add to it, you can go ahead and update your mind map. So hit pause. You got five seconds to do that before I'll move on to the next bit. So here's the mind map I came up with. Let me talk you through my results and you can see what you think of it. First off, I'm going to start in the upper right and that category, Things Protected, I wrote that in last when I thought about making this mind map. It was easy to think about the terms because we talked about them, right? Console and BTY in particular, privilege mode and user mode. We talked about all those a lot. But I thought, what, what's really going on there? And I came up with that category. You might categorize them some other way, but as long as you group them together, that's plenty fine. Now over here at BTY, I wondered, well, should something else go there? So I had thought about, well, should I add in SSH, for instance, and Telnet here. Whoops, <laughs> let me add them both. Just trying to get a little more cooperation here from the app. There we go. So there you go. Maybe you organize things that way. All right, so I think that's a reasonable start to our mind map. Here, I'll expand that back out. So what about configuration? We talked about a lot of configuration commands, but just describing those, we talked about the console and BTY passwords. And then we talked about the enable and enable secret passwords and the username and username secret commands and which ones ended up using a hash to store the passwords and which ones protected console versus telnet and SSH, right? We talked through all of that. So all these terms are tied to the configuration commands behind them. So that's just how I organized it. Now SSH had a little more configuration to it, right? So I organized it for inputs and outputs as you see here. But the keys were over here on the far left in this drawing, right? So the host name and domain name were there, but they were really to, there to be configured as inputs to the cryptographic key part of the discussion, where we had that crypto key command that generated the encryption keys used by SSH. Then finally, for storing passwords, we talked about you can store them in clear text or with this MD5 hash that protects the passwords. Thanks for doing this mind map activity. Hope you found it useful. As usual, subscribe and click the bell if you're new to the channel so you can get notified of new videos. And for everybody, every video, like and share. Let me know what's on your mind. Thanks a bunch, and I'll talk to you soon.